Well, now, having done a few coloured pencil pictures now, I thought I'd try some different subjects. So this video is going to just be um, experimental ones, like this, for instance. Now, I started this as an experiment and I thought, hey, that looks good. So I've now decided to include it in this particular series. I did wonder whether we'd be able to produce a sky successfully. And, as you can see, I have. But I've added a little bit more. I, I didn't start off with this, but I've added that. So, let me explain to you how I went about it. I can't redraw this, but I can show you how I got. A, I went about it. I started off by putting in the, the clouds, and I just drew them. There's no line drawing on this at all. It's just purely make it up as you go along. So I put those in, and then... I then used a series of blues, just put that to one side for the moment. I decided to have four blues, ranging from the lighter to the darker. I started with this one and I went all over, cut round the clouds, right, right down to the bottom. That wasn't there at that time, so the blue is under there, neither was the water. That was added. Once I'd done that, I then used this one. Now, I like to have the darker sky at the top, lighter at the bottom. And that's how it is in reality. So I used the next colour down and went over there and I went right down. And when I came to about here, I started easing off. Let me just show you what I mean. I didn't put quite so much in. So when I got to the bottom, it stayed virtually the same colour as that all the way down. Okay, then I put that one on. Now, all the time I'm avoiding the clouds, but of course you can see now this is getting a little bit stronger. So I come down to about there now, easing it off. In other words, it was stronger at the top, lighter as we went down. And then this one is a dark blue, and that one was a dark at the top. Well, it's always the darker colours that create the um, difficulty in emulsifying. But as you can see, I've got ways over that. Uh, that's as far as I went with that, but I put a little bit more on the top. OK, that's the first thing I did. Then I used the solvent on it, which is what I'm going to do. But what I now, now do, we'll come just a little closer so you can see this um, in more detail. Now, in case you're wondering how I got a nice straight line there, well, that's pretty easy. I put a rule on it and I use a pencil very lightly to put my horizon line. I always like to have a like a two thirds, more sky, less water, because the object of the exercise here was to do the sky. I made up this afterwards. OK, now I've got um, my solvent in here and my brush. Now, as you know, what you do here, you take as much as you can off like that. So it drops back into the doll and, it, and also put some on there. So what you want is minimize the amount that you put on here. Now, this is a painstaking job. You've got to be prepared to spend time on this. Don't just try to rush it. It just won't work, folks. The lighter, when we get down to the bottom, it, it emulsifies better. When I first did this, I thought, mm, that's, that's going to be a bit patchy, isn't it? But as you will see, I get over that in quite a unique way. Now, I, I don't want to go into the clouds because otherwise we put blue all over them. So you've got to go up to it like that. And I'll show you in a little while how we get over any patchiness there and continue. Now, I won't show you all this because it's going to be very boring to just watch me do this, but I'll just do this top section and then I'll break off and you can join me again when we get down to the bottom. But I'm going to do this all the way down. 
I've chosen a miniature picture, as you see the five centimetres by 11 centimetres, simply because I wasn't quite sure how this is going to work out. I didn't want to spend a lot of time on a large picture if it wasn't going to work. You see what I mean by being just a little bit patchy? But as you see in a minute, I can get over that. OK, well, I'll leave you at the moment and um, you can come back and join me when I get down to the bottom. Here, I'm just going to emulsify just the edge of that section that I split. Now, I'm um, down to this bottom section. And as I say, is it going to be a lot easier, a little lighter? I mean, you could make this the light sky all the way down, but I like to have what I've got there and you can see on the other side it does look really good there's a few things you might be picking up that cloud looks darker than that mm -hmm. and uh, you're absolutely right and I show you that I went over that those with the white once I'd finished emulsifying them Now this bit here, we're gonna I'm gonna cut round that island. As I say, it wasn't there when I did the other. I put them on afterwards, which again shows you what you can do. Now the other the other problem you've got is really you've got to be careful on the. This time I'm going rather than dabbing it. I'm now dragging it because I want to keep that edge of that water line. Now I put a lot of clouds in the sky deliberately so that I could work round them all. But if I was doing this again, I wouldn't. In fact, I'll lose that one there. I wouldn't, to be honest, put as many in on a small picture like this. But you can see how the patchy that is up there as opposed to much smoother down here. All right, so what do we do with that? While it's still wet, you go over and burnish. Now burnishing means you've got to use a, I'll just put that away for the moment. I won't want that until I get to the water. Burnishing means you use a lighter colour and go over it. Now that is picking up some of the solvent that I put on. I'll just do this top bit here. You can see it's very close now to this, but not quite, is it? That's because we need the next one down, which is that one. That gives us a little bit darker. And the lighter colour can burnish the darker colour. Now we're nearly there now. We've nearly got those two colours the same. You see how smooth it is. I didn't use the very dark one, but I did use this one right at the top, just to make it just a little bit stronger. And then, because that still looks a little bit um, rough, I use the lighter colour to burnish it with again, because once again, the lighter colour is the burnishing tool. Don't, you don't have to press hard with it either, it um, just skirts, skates across the surface. Now I'm going to do all the rest of it like that. Well, let's do just a little bit more so you can see, especially going around these clouds. Let's go around here as well. It does take quite a long time to dry the solvent, which is an advantage. If you were doing a larger picture, then you probably have to do it as you went along. Now I don't think I need the other pencil. This pencil will be sufficient now to give me what I want. And then once again, use the light, light blue 
as a burnishing tool. Now, I'll stop in a moment because I want to show you how I went ahead with the um, clouds. Once you've got that, again, because it's still wet, you can now just redo some of the clouds. See, this is quite remarkable. And if it dried out on you, you just put some more salt on it. I wanted this to have a, almost a, a break, but not quite there. So let's do all of this. There we are. Doesn't that look good? Let me finish it off then. And when I've done that, we'll tackle the water. Now with the water I used a grey for the first time and the only time. I put that in first because I wanted the water to be slightly different to the sky. That went in first and then it was the same idea but this time the, the light blue went at the top and as we came down to the bottom I made it darker. Let me show you what I mean. This is the next colour. I've already put it on here so I don't want to put too much on. But just as long as you see how it's going to work out. Okay. I want it to be darker here than there. And with the blue next blue and to get it right into that corner I turn it upside down and did that that makes sure the color goes right up to the edge on a miniature you want as much as you can showing you see how much darker that is and then that can graduate up to about two-thirds of the way up to the, the uh, water like that and then the dark one again that can be put into the bottom just really on the bottom edge okay All right now what I did here is I swap brushes instead of using that one I used um, where's my other one that one that one which is a flat one because what we want to do is drag this where I didn't want to do it with, with the sky I'm going to do it here. I'm going to just turn it round so that you can see it. And I'm going to drag it. I'm going to start at the top and work my way down. Same idea though. Take it off so you minimise what you actually put in. And you come along here. Now this has got to be more. I know that doesn't look as though it's in multiple but it is. I've gone over the top of that and just come down like that. Now you're going to drag the colour this time. You don't have to do it this way, it's just the way I feel would work best. Uh, because I'm using a wide brush, I'm probably going to do all of this with one application. Look at the difference it makes there. This is a lot of fun. I mean, one of the things about artwork is that, although you want a nice result at the end of the day, what you want to do is make as enjoyable as you can and by golly, this is a lot of fun. I might have just, just a tiny bit more. You can tell because it's not emulsifying. Doesn't take long, does it? There you go. That's fine. That's what it looks like. Oh, wait a minute. I've got the island, a little distant island to do. So let me do that. A switching brushes again, because this is a, a finer brush, will get me a little bit more detail. Once again, we, we're now dabbing it as opposed to dragging it. And that's in right in the distance. So I 
I don't want that to be too strong. There you go, lovely. I don't think we need to do any more of that. Uh, now, I've got to wait a little little while for that to dry off, but before I do that, let me just use, use the white pencil just along the top edge of that and go into the sky. You don't want to make a line, that would look awful. But you want to put just a little bit of light in there, maybe over the top of the island, just to emphasize the island more. There you go. Or la a land mass, should I say. Good, excellent. Now I'm going to let that dry off just a little, little bit, but not much more. And then I'm going to come back and I'm going to show you how we put all those little ripples in. That's dry off now, so let's show you how I did this. Start with the dark, and what you do is you run along. With a nice sharp point. Just emphasising a few little ripples. Now this will go to about a quarter of the way up of the water, I mean. It wouldn't go any higher than that. It's just on the bottom edge. Run across. Move to the next one, which is that one. And that one can take over. And that can go up to about halfway, let's say. You can judge it yourself. I mean, I just I might as well add a little bit more over here now. You certainly don't want to go to the top. There you go. And the other one can go take over from there and that can arrive that can come almost to the top because we not we you won't see the ripples that far that distance away it'd really be only up to about here that you're going to notice the difference and I wouldn't do any more I think I'd, I'd leave it at that Now, another thing you could do, the grey. <clears throat> I'm using the dark grey here because I wanted to put just a few little waves in, breakers. That's, that's as far as we want to go. And if you were then to do it with the white, nice sharp white on top, you end up with what I've got there. That's not really sharp enough, Colin. Sharper, I'll do it for you. Hang on, won't be a minute. It doesn't take very long to do this. Get the sharp edge on that, you see, that makes a difference. And I think I'd leave it at that. Maybe just a little bit more depth. There you go. There we are, finished. Now, a couple of little things I can see here. Let me just, where we have, um, when I had the crossover, you just have to use your pencil and titivate it a bit to make sure that you don't get the telltale. So, well, you wouldn't get it anyway. It's only me that, using it as a, an example, you'd get that, you'd do the whole sky. But you can see how nicely that looks. I hope you've enjoyed that. I certainly have enjoyed doing it. And I'm going to be doing more experimentings in this uh, video. Uh, different, different subjects, different ideas. Uh, but that is certainly a great little miniature.